Wait, let me just break yeah, this down. So what absolutely. you said was when you're in the chronic stress, it kills the brain cells in your adult brain that helps you make good decisions. And it makes the ones grow in the fight or flight part of your brain where you can be angry, divisive, and run or fight, right? Exactly. So, so that's not good. I wish it wasn't that way, but you look at these long-term studies in humans who have undergone chronic stress, and you see that the prefrontal cortex is smaller. You can actually physically see that it is smaller in people who have had these life experiences, this chronic stress over time. The prefrontal cortex is like the adult. It allows you to weigh the pros and cons, to think about what are the long-term outcomes of these decisions. So you really want that prefrontal cortex to be activated to allow you to think through your actions. Yeah. Now, on the other hand, there are other parts of the brain that do great things for us. These include parts of the brain like the amygdala and the general reward circuitry. They're essential. They are. That's like your ancient fight or flight, you know, reactive brain. Exactly. And, you, and you, unless you have that frontal brain going, hey, wait a minute, guys, shut up. It's not so bad. You're not going to die. <laughs> this is OK. It's the adult in the room. Right. The adult in the room. The adult in the brain. <laughs> That's really it. <laughs>